Now, before we get into this video, guys, I just want to say a massive thank you. We recently hit 25,000 subscribers on YouTube. I can't believe it. The support from you guys has been absolutely unreal over the last few months. So thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. And to formalize my appreciation for you guys as part of the next video that will hopefully be uploaded this weekend, the beginning of a duo survival series, uh, we're going to be doing a bit of a giveaway. So if you want to be a part of that, then make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out when that video goes live. But yeah, thanks again so much guys. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get straight into this video. Today's video is going to be a pretty short video, but it's something that I am pretty interested in myself. So hopefully you guys find it interesting too. What we're going to look at is we're going to be comparing the recoil of Rust on console compared to Rust on PC just to see if there is really much of a difference in terms of the significance of the recoil, the recoil patterns. And it might also give us a bit of an idea if we can expect to see changes to the recoil on Rust console in the future. Because I know at the moment, a lot of people are struggling pretty, pretty bad trying to control the recoil in Rust on console for particular guns, namely the AK-47 people are having a lot of trouble with. Um, so today we're gonna see how bad or how good the recoil patterns actually are and compare them to PC. The guns that I've chosen to test are simply the automatic weapons. I, you know, in the future, if you want me to test out the semi-auto rifles like the SAR or the M39, then let me know and I am happy to test them. But for today, we're just going, going to be looking at the automatic weapons. So we're gonna start off with the SMGs. Uh, what I'm doing as well is I'm shooting from exactly three foundations away. So when I do the recoil testing on the PC version, the uh, findings will be, you know, comparable. The first weapon we're gonna look at here is the custom SMG. And we're going to do uh, standing and crouching recoil as well, just to see if there's any difference between the two. So let's get started. So that's standing, here we go, crouching. So you can see the recoil is more or less identical for the custom SMG on Rust console standing and crouching. Alrighty, moving over to the PC version here for the custom SMG in standing. This is what the recoil spray looks like. Let's have a look in crouching. Yep, so again, that's identical in standing and crouching. And interestingly enough, the recoil patterns are identical between console and PC for the custom SMG. That's actually pretty surprising to me. Okay, we're going to move on to the Thompson. So in standing. That's pretty good, really. And in crouching as well. Again, you can see the recoil patterns are exactly the same, standing and crouching. Okay, moving on to the Thompson. Standing recoil on the PC version of Rust. And in crouching. It's a little bit harder to see the outline of the recoil on the left there, so I'll try and highlight the, the spots for you. But again, the recoil patterns are more or less identical. And finally for the SMGs, we'll look at the MP5. So in standing. Yeah, a little bit more horizontal recoil as you can see towards the end of the spray there and in crouching as well exactly the same for the mp5 standing recoil and in crouching And again, for the MP5, the recoil patterns are identical between console and PC. Okay, let's move on to uh, one of the more commonly used assault rifles in Rust console, which is the LR300. And let's have a look standing. Okay, and then crouching as well. Yep, so again, those recoil patterns are identical. Standing and crouching. Let's move on to the LR. First off in standing. And also in crouching. And again for the LR, there is no difference between console and PC. 
And finally, the AK. So this is, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I've got enough wall here, but let's see how we go. Let's have a look in crouching as well. Yep, so it is confirmed the recall patterns on uh, Rust on console, standing and crouching are exactly the same for all the weapons that I've tested today. And finally the AK uh, for standing. And also in crouching. You're probably getting sick of me saying this by now, but also for the AK, there is no difference in recall between the PC and console versions of Rust. And although I didn't test this on the console version, I'm going to show you guys the M249, which I believe has a different recall pattern if you are standing or crouching since it's an LMG. And we won't get through the whole magazine here, but uh, let's see how we go to the top of the wall. So in a standing position. And then in a crouching position. So you can see there's a pretty clear difference there. And I would anticipate that this is the same on the console version of Rust. Just from experience in shooting the gun in Rust on console. If, uh, if you're not crouching or if you're strafing, then it's pretty impossible to control. And there you go, guys. As I said, just a quick video comparing the recall patterns on Rust PC versus console. And kind of as I anticipated with how hard recall is to control on Rust console, the recall patterns are surprisingly similar. And the recall sprays are learnable patterns on both versions of the game. And to be honest, that's that's pretty hard on using a controller. That's pretty hard to learn like a learnable recoil pattern. I think personally that maybe like an RNG type uh, recoil spray would be more appropriate for Rust on console. But who knows, this might change in the future. And so far, weapons like the LR and the Thompson have been my go-to because they're a lot easier to control the recoil of. And... <laughs> And you know, like people running AKs often spray an entire magazine at you and don't connect on one single bullet. So I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, using like the LR and that for now. Uh, if you have any other weapons that you'd like me to test out, let me know. But there you go. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching.